hello, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'm Lady Pavo, also known as Luna Lamonte. And this is your June 2021 love reading. We're going to be focusing on your sun, moon, rising, Venus, your seventh house. And if you're a divine masculine, your Mars placements. Not only am I going to be pulling some charms, but we're going to be pulling some chess pieces okay so i figured we'll do something a little bit different from what i normally do keep in mind that time is fluent so we could be talking about your past present or future so allow the messages to resonate with you in the way that they do and if they don't apply let it fly all right so let's dive right into your reading Hello, my lovely Pisces. This is your June 2021 love reading. I already pre-shuffled all of your cards. So we're going to dive right in. We have at the bottom of the deck, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So somebody from the past, you need to release and get them out of your system. All right. And you need to focus on the relationship that you're in if you are in a relationship. So Give your relationship a chance, okay? Not with this person that's from your past or not from anybody that's from your past. If you are single, I'm hearing give a new relationship a chance, okay? Not somebody that you've known for multiple years. Not somebody that you, you know, recently broke up with. If that's the case, you need to release your ex, okay? If you're single, work on new love. If you're in a relationship, work on the current relationship that you're in, okay? Two cards coming out in the reverse and unrevealed. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So this is something that you need to work on. And we have children in reverse. So your love life is affected by children. If you are in a relationship and you have children, then this does not apply to you. Now, if you are without children, you know, this could be a factor for you because for one, maybe your partner wants children with you and you're not in the place right now where you want children. If you are with somebody and your child is their bonus child or vice versa, again, Maybe you guys are not seeing eye to eye about children. Now, if you are in a relationship, I see that, you know, maybe you're not worried about, you know, how children affect your relationship, all right? And uh, maybe that's not really what your main focus is on. Maybe you're focused on giving your relationship a chance and trying to figure out a healthy way to have a family structure as well. So I'm hearing finding balance, okay? Let's expose the secrets in your relationship. We have improve and reverse, okay? So I see that it fell and hit the floor. So with it coming out in reverse, I'm seeing that you're um, failing to make some type of improvements on yourself, okay? It could be because you're not surrendering to your self-sabotaging thoughts. So you're not surrendering those self-sabotaging thoughts. And because of this, you're causing a lot of imbalance, okay? But once you learn to surrender and release, you know, these things by really being honest with yourself and um, changing, okay, not just turning a blind eye to this, okay, so I'm hearing you need to cut away, you know, soul ties, soul bonds with ex-people, people from the past, okay, and then you're going to welcome in a lot of loving energy, okay, you're going to usher in a more source-driven relationship when i say source driven i'm talking about something that you can blossom a new start with okay again if you're not thinking of children somebody in your frequency is okay so focusing on giving birth to music love children you know a goal making money there's a lot of things you can give birth to so definitely connecting to source by finding love self-love and finding your happy place okay and then you're going to bring this lover's energy into your life okay you could be dealing with a person who is pregnant you could be pregnant or planning to be pregnant or somebody in your frequency wants children okay 
yeah, you're definitely in this protective energy, trying to protect yourself, trying to tend to, you know, what you need, all right? You're definitely trying to find love that lasts forever, something that flows naturally, okay? Somebody that's reciprocating the love that you want. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could have um, Leo placements, or this could be somebody that you're dealing with has these placements. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Taurus, or a Gemini, or somebody who has very similar placements like you, okay? Let's get into the focus of your reading. All right. We have two cards coming out unrevealed and one card coming out revealed. So I see that there is going to be some type of emotional offering coming in. All right. After you walked away from something, somebody's going to come in and try to offer you some type of emotional offering. Yeah, something stable, something that you can grow. Somebody's going to communicate that you're really nurturing and caring and fruitful and they would like to settle down with you. You're waiting for this message from your divine counterpart because we have a couple here. So you're waiting for somebody to communicate. So that's the focus. Like you are waiting to get this emotional offering, okay? So you may be feeling like it's already coming and if it's not coming, you have a, a strong feeling that it's already on its way. Okay, the key to manifestation is saying you already have it, knowing that you already have it and that's how you will manifest, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have connecting with ancestors in reverse. So you need to connect with your ancestors, okay? They're urging you to call. If you haven't got any type of signals or signs, this is your sign. So it's time for you to connect with the ancestors that you disconnected yourself from. We have cleaning your space, so cleansing your space, also hydrating, okay? Connecting with crystals, nourishing your temple, so eating healthy, meditating, sound healing, okay? Working on your aura. If you don't have sound bowls, bells, wind chimes, okay? Definitely looking up different chants, okay, that you could vibrationally bring about. Okay, so chanting onk, okay, that signifies life, all right? So definitely looking up frequencies, vibrations that will help you have a more vibrant aura, okay, and bring a lot of balance, okay? And we have spending time with friends, okay, especially those who are spiritually in alignment with you, okay? Let's get into the nectar of the reading. You guys got a few cards, all of them coming out unrevealed. So let's reveal them together, all right? We have a page of pentacles. So I see that somebody's gonna come in. Somebody's going to try to give you some type of offering. They could try to give you some type of like jewelry, a watch or something, some roses, some flowers. Um, they're definitely going to come in and try to make you feel appreciated, all right? Yeah. They're going to come in after you decided to walk away from them, okay? Walk away from destructive behavior. Yeah, you've decided to maybe disconnect yourself or isolate yourself, all right? You're definitely breaking down things that did not have a solid foundation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries, okay? And because you decided to shut out things that don't serve you, you're feeling very confident at this time, okay? Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I feel like you walked away from some type of conflict, all right? And because of this, you're going to get this offering. Somebody's going to come in, all right? This person could be younger than you. All right. If you have fire in your chart, um, this person does as well. But this person could have like a, a age gap. Maybe they're older than you and you're younger or you're younger and they're older. And if it's not that, somebody definitely is not as mature as somebody mentally or emotionally. Yeah. So the person, you know, maybe you have children with this individual. 
a fire sign child all right i see that you're making some type of decision on what offer you should take and i see that you want to reunite with somebody that you feel is going to give you the reciprocal energy that you are seeking you could be dealing with a gemini or somebody who has very similar placements in their chart like you all right and because of this you're going to get an upswing in your blessings so spirit is telling you to stay strong at this time you're going to be tested but this test is going to bring a solid foundation a solid structure but i see that you're gonna have to go through some type of financial constraints you're going to have to deal with juggling responsibilities but trusting your intuition as you do this and and this is your energy once you learn to trust your intuition once you learn to go within then you're going to reunite with with the person that you're seeking okay then you're going to get the victory that you want and get the passion that you're seeking but you have to close out some type of cycle close out things that don't serve you i'm hearing be brave to say goodbye to see new hellos okay so if you're impatient and you want to resurrect situations from the past spirit is letting you know that you are the ultimate magician you have the material the wisdom the experience the looks all of that to manifest your true heart's desire with this mutable energy, this is your energy again. So stop focusing on the past. Close out the past. Stop being stuck on the past. Stop working on the past. Move on. Accept other offerings. Other offerings that you may not be holding a high regard. Let your guard down. Free yourself. And once you do this, you take this leap of faith, you're going to get the communication that you want. But just know that you're going to get tested by people that are in different skin, but have the same tendencies. But once you realize your power, you're going to express and expose all truths, no matter how much deception is around you. You got to stay true to yourself and stay solid. So stop crying over the past. It's time for you to find balance in your life so that you can have the love that you deserve ushering in so you got to release toxic energy toxic bonds that make you feel emotionally depleted arguments that you are combating with somebody let go of all of this so that this love this stability can usher in okay i'm hearing once you get rid of one you get 10 <laughs> Once you get rid of two, you get 20. So you're going to, you're going to get blessings in by the dozens I'm hearing, tenfold, tenfold by tenfold, okay? Yes. So let's get into the charms, okay? That's what I'm getting right now. I'm gonna leave it right there, Pisces, and let you guys make your own decision. I'm only a word of confirmation. You guys have free will, all right? I asked, this is the chess pieces. I asked, how do you perceive this person? We got the king, somebody who is very valuable, somebody you see the end all be all with. Because if the king is checkmated, the game ends, okay? So I see that if the situation does not work with this person, I feel like you may give up on love for a little while. The fire will burn out. As soon as I said that, I realized the incense has burned out. So yeah, you hold them at high regard, but you see that they make very strategic movements in love, with love. They're very careful. I said, how does this person perceive themselves? We got the rook. So somebody that is very resilient, solid through change, life-changing events, okay? The tower, okay? The breaking down and rebuilding. They see that they could be solid in all terrains. And I said, in the outcome, who is this person? I pulled the white pawn but then I saw when I came back into the room, 
the black pawn was on the seat. Somebody stable, somebody here that wants a family, somebody that wants to grow a family. That's probably what this rook is here for. They want to change your everyday schedule, that type of change, drastic change, movement, okay? Relocation. This person is um, could be younger than you, okay? But experienced, wise beyond their years, okay? If not, this person definitely wants to gain more wisdom with you. They see the potential of the relationship could reach anywhere, anywhere as far as they can imagine. They see a lot of potential in this relationship, a lot of balance, okay? What are the zodiac signs that are significant to my lovely Pisces at this time? We got Cancer for imaginative, Aries for courageous, and Leo for generous. What charms are significant to my Pisces? We have a fairy, I'm hearing Tinkerbell, make a wish, know that you can fly, astral traveling, okay? We got a star, making a wish, okay? Aquarius energy here. Understanding that if you want fame and fortune, this star here shines bright, it's the biggest one over here. I'm hearing, I'm also seeing a butterfly for change. I'm hearing MK Ultra. Let that apply to you in the way that it does. I see a monkey. Hmm. Somebody famous. I don't know who this is going to apply to, but somebody famous could feel like they are like an entertainment monkey or something like that. Like a circus. I'm hearing like a circus. Okay. Maybe they're feeling like they go in circles and they're not changing. Yeah. I see an owl, so trusting your intuition, your wisdom. I hear Mullock. I don't know. I'm hearing the occult. All right. Somebody here could be in the occult. We got a heart with love. I'm hearing that you need to always go back to love. Never lose sight of love. The letters that can be significant to you is bj okay you need to go grocery shopping i'm hearing um big orders okay dj so you could be dealing with somebody who is musically inclined i'm hearing um hmm i'm hearing bad i'm hearing lights i'm hearing band so the letters that can be significant to you are B, D, N, Q, T, L, and J. I'm hearing timeline. So a message can come up to you on your timeline. All right, well, that's what I'm getting. So I hope these messages were helpful. Sending you guys so much love. If you feel that these messages apply, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment and hit the bell notification down below so you can get notified for when I post new videos. If you would like a personal reading, all of the important details will be down below in the description box. I look forward to connecting with you. We are divinely connected. Until next time, peace.